Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I am your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we are back for some more War Thunder tank showcases here today. We're going to be taking a look at the M24 light tank, the little baby chaffy, and it is a pretty murdery little sucker. It's got a 75mm M6 cannon. It's built off of the cute little locust ca uh, tank. The M22 Locust, which was a light tank designed to be highly maneuverable for flanking, and especially so that they could stick this thing in one of their, you know, gliders that they would use to drop tanks behind enemy lines, and then they could swarm around being cute and adorable and murdering people. And that builds into the slightly better armored, better um, gunned uh, Chaffee tank, which is, uh, it's really maneuverable, it's really nice for flanking people, Shooting them, it's got a really small profile, because this thing's barely bigger than a car. Uh, you can kind of see like an old school... I don't know if those, those vehicles in the back are to scale, but this sucker's not really that big. And so we're going to take this sucker into some uh, realistic tank battles and murder some people with it. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're here in Hurtgen Forest. And one of the things to note about the Chaffee is it doesn't hold a lot of ammunition. So make sure you murder people with a bit of precision. You've got the M72 shot, which is this, the rigid round that's uh, armor-piercing projectile that shrapnels everywhere. We'll take about 20 of those. And then we'll also take, uh, just because I need the ammo, we'll also take the M61 shot, which is good for penetrating... Thinner sides of holes and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so we gotta, we gotta go through the town, the Hurtgen Forest, and murder everybody, and say hello, and it's gonna be a good old time. Um, actually, this is a bigger tank than it looks. It's about the size of an M10, but it's a, it's a big honking vehicle, I guess, but it's got a smaller profile than a lot of other tanks, and it's a lot easier to bounce off of its rounded turret. Of course, got a pair of machine guns, one there in the gun mantlet, and then one at the top. It's good stuff. Um, really, the place where you're going to get killed the most is if they shoot you in the side or in the lower glacis there. It's not the thickest thing. Um, I think most other tanks at this tier have got like 50 millimeters of armor. And this puppy has got something like under 25 millimeters in the front. Um, good news, it's slanted like nobody's business. Bad news, it doesn't mean shit when somebody throws a big explosive round at you from like an SU-122. But hopefully our speed and our maneuverability will be a tremendous asset for us as we roll in through the Hurtgen Forest City town thing where folks get murdered all the time. It'll be good stuff. Maybe. I don't know. I've had mixed experiences with the Chaffee. Sometimes people just don't know what to do against it. Sometimes you get annihilated in like the first minute. So, I mean, that is what it is. There's just no doubt about that. So our goal is we're gonna, we're gonna stay off the main road and we're gonna try and carouse our, our way through the streets murdering people and trying not to explode and getting around this other Sherman because he's being a fat-bodied butt in our way. But the, definitely the nice thing about this is, like, you, it, it's great for running and gunning, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Chaffee's got not a world-shatteringly great engine by any means, but it's cute and it, it can shoot, scoot, and boogie. And that's that's all you really want from it. It's a light tank. America's great for light tanks during World War II. They're really fast, and later medium armored and heavily armored, like, T-line tanks are just fan... Or, is that the T-line, or was that the M-line? We're just great for touching people's butts, and, uh, yeah. That's what we want. Other thing is, you know, having a machine gun is nice if you encounter an anti-air, because at Tier 3, battle rating 3.7 is what we're sitting at. The cute little Chaffee has a tendency of getting murdered by anti-air guns. Not the best, but, you know, we do what we can with what we've got, and what we've got is a cute little tank that's adorable. It's basically like running around in War Thunder with a kitten. 
with a with a cannon on the top. A cannon kitten. They uh they're they're patent pending. Uh, it's a new breed of kitten. Don't fuck with them. Don't try to squeeze them to make them squirt everywhere. They'll murder you. Straight up murder you. There's a couple tanks there to our right in the open field that this Sherman wants to introduce himself to. What have we got? We got any customers? Doesn't look like it. The trick... Pro well, the trick I should... Not the trick. The problem with Hurtgen Forest is... And I'm one of the people who's done a lot of that, is... It's real easy to just get comfortable behind a house and then just shoot whatever you see. Like that guy. And we'll, we'll just leave the rigid rounds equipped for the moment. Uh, I can't remember. It's like one of the Panzer fours with the delicious, like, skirt armor that prevents high explosives from making you real dead. Good stuff. Unfortunately, um, he's been murdered. That's just a bot. AI, which are usually... I mean, I say usually the people who are derp enough to go drive around in the open. But I've seen a lot of people do that, so maybe it's a lot more common than you think. Oh. Were you artillery or were you an HE round? That's artillery. Alright. That may indicate someone's watching this direction to see if any friends appear. I'm hoping the answer is no. If I was, like, a tank destroyer, I'd be hiding over there where we just saw that clouded dust. As you, you can see right through here to one of the approaches, one of the main roads, and you can shoot people in the wiener. And I don't know about you, but I don't like getting my junk shot off. I don't care what gender you are, your junk can get shot off and it's not pleasant. Don't recommend any of that biz. We're just gonna try and sneak around. It looks like most of our comrades ahead of us are still alive. That doesn't mean anything. This is one of those maps where it's easy to bypass somebody who's reloading. And they don't shoot at you so you don't see them, and then you just ignore them, and... Oh, oh there's, there's a customer. What do we got? What do we got here? What do we got? Got a Panzer. Let's switch to the uh, explosive rounds and pop you in the front. That's where the girls like it these days. Right there. Oh, really, dude? You're gonna get shot, you dipstick. Yes, if I can keep you alive, if I can use you as armor. I think, well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Someone's shooting at him, which means they could easily be shooting at me. See, where is your, where's your friend? Is he on that hillside? Having trouble picking him out, Billy. What's his dealio? Uh, that's a tree. Uh, you know, you know Larry. He doesn't like his trees. Likes them seen, but not murdered. Me in the face. With... Where did trees even get cannons? Frickin' weird-ass Europe in the middle of World War II. Everybody's got a tank and a tank with a cannon and a can on a tree. This is why we can't have nice things. I think I'm not... I think I'm not gonna worry about whatever that is. I'm hoping he killed whatever it was, because he's not murdered. You still alive, bro? Yeah, you're alive. I'll just drive behind you. That seems like a smarter idea. There's a fight going on back there. I think we got like an... M4A3105 or something. There's an M4. Just saw the M4 in the last video. Good stuff. Let's uh, flank around here. I'm gonna quickly tap number one to equip some penetrating rounds. Look over my shoulder to make sure we're not gonna get shot in the side. And try to murder whatever's killing our pal. Nothing. I don't see a thing. I don't like not seeing the things that are murdering people. I prefer those to be seen and heard and known. Very obviously known. But he's shooting in front of me. I don't see any customers. Who are you shooting at, bud? Where are you shooting at, Mr. M4? I'm I'm feeling scurred. I'm gonna try and sneak across here. Nobody shoot Larry. Up oh, there is what we're shooting you. That's fine. We'll go investigate that in a minute. Anybody over here? There is somebody over here. I'm gonna shoot ya. Oh, that's what I like. Get out of the, get that turning ring disabled. 
you can't do stuff with it now. Get out of here, tree. Hate these trees, how you hit them, and then they just decide they didn't want to be hit, so they, like, bug back out. Cheaty trees. I hate, I hate trees that cheat, that's all I'm saying. Stuff's rude. Alright, here comes the guy that I shot. Let's see if I can give him a, uh, oh, did I light it on fire? Just about. I'm gonna keep shooting you in the ass. Keep you distracted so anyone shooting at you from the front can take care of that problem. There goes your transmission. Was that the transmission? That's an odd place for a transmission, buddy. Buddy boy. But, I, I mean, T-34s, they're a weird tank. Uh, they've got that great slanted armor from Russia. They, they do stuff. Oh, that's artillery. Okay, marching ahead, everybody in, everybody in the pool, do the thing, do the stuff, who's hiding, oh, that hurt, oh, yep, okay, 234 is dead, that's, uh, that's a good sign, I might not even have to do an extra uh, realistic match, and I do prefer to do realistic matches for these kinds, oh, that was damn close, holy poops, alright, yeah, I do. Hostile team is is touching our stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I do prefer realistic mode for these types of videos. Well, for any of my gameplay inside of uh, War Thunder, just because um, in arcade mode, what I see a lot of people prefer to play when they're solo, and I see a lot of people prefer to record different weird gameplay videos in. Is it's like. You can kind of get clipped by some lucky J-hole from Spawn? Not a fan of that. It's not my favorite. I prefer my, uh, my murder taffy to be flavored with fairness and not the shenanigans and bullshit. Just, just me. It's my preference. It's not, doesn't need to be weird. This is a panzer that's dead. That I can use for armor. Now that's something that's always bothered me about this game is like, I cannot shoot through that dead panzer, but if I hide behind it, there's a chance that it won't render for the person shooting at me, and I can't use it for armor. Unless it's one of the, the dead hulks that's like a permanent addition to the terrain. So, whatever that's supposed to indicate. It's kind of bullshit, if you ask me. We got an M18, the Tier 3 tank destroyer for America. Got a great cannon on it. Got some great uh, turret swivel going on. It's real fast. It's, it's, it drives real fast, just like the baby Chaffee. Actually, I think a bit faster. Uh, the trick with that being that its armor is a lot poopier than the M10. Whoops. He was very dead. I wasn't sure if he was crippled or not. It's hard to tell sometimes, especially now that people are buying those. <clears throat> Those darkened paint jobs. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shenanigans. He's dead. No. Tell me why. Tell me I believed in you. He was... That's the M18, so I'm gonna get shot if I hang out over here. I'm gonna back it off. I'm gonna see if anyone comes to try and kill our M18 pal on the cat point. I don't know if that was someone shooting at me or if that was just the... Pressure from the explosion of artillery trying to murder us. Why we? They really wanted to kill us and our friends. There's a lot of people up in there. So I can imagine that they're keen on murdering just about all of us. That's an M4A1. It's the rounded hull version of the M4. It's a single piece cast. And uh, I, I prefer it. Honestly, even though I haven't had a chance to play it nearly as much as I played the M4, it is, I'm of the opinion that it is a little bit better at bouncing shots off of its front. Which is a good thing. Because bounce shots means not shots inside your tank making you into a fine red mist. Which is not the form I prefer to take when I go to parties. Alright, we're still capping. Ooh, hi, hi, hi. How you doing, friend? How's it going? What can I do you for? Can I disable that, uh, cannon breach? Does that, uh, does that jive with you, my friend? Does that let me say howdy to your, to your man parts and sneak up behind you and shoot you in the rear? We got a problem, Captain. 
got a friend. We got a friend and he's not in me. Right here, and he's gonna try and stick one in you. Alright. Fantastic. I th I don't know if he gave up or if he got shot. But I'll take it. That's the thing. Chaffee? Cute little sneaky bastard. Cute little sneaky bastard. Just like that. Taking out that turret ring, making... What is that? That's like a T-34 1942? I just started playing Russia, too. I'm more familiar with Germany, so I don't really understand 100% all of the Russian tanks or their designs. Looks like we have a tank destroyer coming. Big blocky thing. I think that's German, or yeah, it looks German. Due to the sheer number of people now interested in like, oh, you just passed me right by, bro. What's that about? That was one of the starter tanks. Panzer II. Or maybe it was a Panzer III. I forget what when they stopped. Oh, we win! Yay! We did the stuff. One thing I can say is, whenever possible, it will be very valuable to you to try and get your elevation mechanism and rate of fire and all that stuff and, like, transmission and engine as quickly as possible. Because the quicker you can get scooting after you shoot somebody and you can duck behind a building, more likely you are to stay alive. And we did pretty well in that last one. I think we killed like four to six people. Chaffee is pretty powerful. But again, I think one of its biggest weaknesses is the fact that it doesn't hold a lot of ammo. And just because the size of the ammo and you really need to use the rigid rounds to penetrate a lot of the tanks at tier 3.7 battle rating, especially if you're fighting them from the front, shooting a lot of Russian tanks mostly. You really gotta be worried about your ammo consumption when you slowly, like, use three shots per tank to kill somebody, if not more. So, you know. Definitely carry plenty of ammo, make sure you understand where your ammo is kept, and to that extent, we're gonna talk about the cute little baby Chaffee's armaments. Look at him. He's cute, he's, uh, he's got a really nice gun mantlet, you got the little periscope for the, for the gunner. You got the little machine gun, you got a big, fifth, what is that, a 50 cal on the roof? What do we got? No, it's a 12 millimeter machine gun. But it's still, it, it, this will still kill an AA. This gun up here will penetrate the heck out of an AA. So don't be afraid to drive right up on them and shoot the crap out of them. That'll do the stuff. This one, too, does a pretty good job. So, armor. Not superb, except for the gun mantlet, where you'd expect it to be on this kind of a tank. Uh, you got 25 millimeters of thickness down bottom, in the lower, uh, glacis. Where you probably want to shoot, if you were going to shoot it from the front. And then you've got another 25.4 millimeters here on the front. And, uh, even right there on the little machine gun port, so trying to sneak in a shot on that machine gun, not going to really help you all that much. Sides, 25, 25, 12 in the back near the engine, which is bad. Because, like, if one part of you is going to stick out and you're not going to realize it, it's going to be your butt. Uh, aside from that, you know, it's pretty good side armor, frontal armor, it's all about the same. It's just this big flat piece right along the shoulders, so be careful about where you show your shoulders. You got 38 in the gun mantlet, 38 here behind it, uh, and then 38 on the, the commander's hatch. So you, you do okay, however, you get a lot of really powerful tank destroyers at tier, you know, at 3.3 and above that can easily penetrate, say, an M4, and the M4 has got something like 50 millimeters on the front that's kind of sloped. So if you get a good shot on this, even though it's got a really great slope on it, you're going to get knocked out. There's not a lot of room for error inside this sucker. Let's take a look. You've got... You know, the transmission right here, there's the driver. No machine gunner here, so you don't have to worry about that. The machine gunner is probably the commander. And then you've got the dry, uh, the gunner behind this little ocular sight here, the optics. And then on the left, or not the left, on the right is the loader. And this is one of those times where the gunner and the loader aren't on the same side of the tank. So, if the loader dies, you're probably fine on shooting. It just takes you a while. 
Now the arm, the armaments, the 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 ammo is stored around the back of the turret, and also on the floor. The big honking, explodey stuff is on the floor. So if you get a good shot off on this lower glacis and it goes right through, it'll probably ignite that ammo. Same if you get shot in the center of mass on the side. But I've not had a lot of explosions in this guy. Most of the time when something happens, I get shoot, shot in the butt, and these fuel tanks go up like a firecracker. But I've never had the ammo ignited, and I've played something like probably upwards of 50 matches in the chaffee. It's a nice, fun, little relaxing tank to play with people. Especially if you have friends like me that love playing tank destroyers. He's a good support role tank. Totally recommend it. He's a, he's a little son of a bitch. Uh, this the baby Chaffee. It's great. I put on the little decals. And he builds off of the Locust like I was talking about before. And it builds into the Walker Bulldog. Which is a really fast, light... Basically, I mean, if I had to call what this is, like, this just feels like a really better armored tank destroyer. The Walker Bulldog. Um... I mean, I'm not even going to go talk about the armaments just yet, because I haven't unlocked him, but... He shoots big honking shells, he makes people really dead, really great at flanking. So you build into some good stuff when you get into, uh... Tier 4 and beyond. Later you get these, uh... The M46, the M26, the M4A3, all these delicious things. Do a wonderful job murdering people. So, that's it for this round, everybody. Thank you for joining me, checking out the Baby Chaffee. I'm not sure what I'll do next. Maybe I'll check out the M4A1. It's basically the same thing as the M4. Um, I don't know why there's like a ridiculous sheen coming off of the skull. But it's basically the same thing as the M4, just with a rounded hull. And slightly crappier gun mantlet. But aside from that, it's got the same armaments. I wish it had, like, the little eye patch armor here where the skull is, too. But it doesn't, so... If you guys are enjoying this series, throw me a like, a subscribe, maybe comment. Uh, let me know if there's tanks you're interested in. And, uh, we'll keep going with this. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. The delectable chupacabra man thing tank dude. And I will catch you next time. Ta-ta, everybody.